It's been very difficult. I've had to watch family members die as I fight without being able to mourn their losses, mourn their deaths. These people that I speak about are very evil people. And I want to use my platform to fight these people. You see, it all started in 2017 when a YouTuber by the name of Mass Troll Mafia was hired by another YouTuber by the name of Music Biz Marty to make me look like a pedophile. She pretended to be 18 years old on a phone call and had turned around and pretended to be underage in a text message. And once that happened, my life has been thrown the has been thrown to bits because of these people. I've had to watch my family suffer. I've had to watch friends suffer. My career as a musician has been very, very deeply affected. And I, for one, am tired of just sitting around and watching this happen. And to those of you assholes that are on YouTube that have harassed me and my family and friends over the years, if you are watching this right now, I want to say this. You guys are the scum of the earth. You guys are the evil that needs to be shot down. And I, for one, have left YouTube for a very good reason. Because those of you that are on YouTube continue to harass me and attack my family. But I, for one, will not be silenced. I will continue to use this platform as a way to fight back against the injustice that has been put against myself, my family, and many other people like myself that have suffered at the hands of these people. These people are very, very evil people. And I want to be that voice for those like myself. I want to be that voice for people like me. Because no one deserves to go through that shit. Like I did. Yes, I will admit, I have made my fair share of mistakes, but I have more than owned up to my mistakes. I have done more than own up to my mistakes that I've made. And I want to use this platform to help those 
like myself that need the help. Because no one deserves to go what I went through all these years. Being harassed, being attacked, bullied, having my career ripped out from underneath of me. Watching good friends walk out of my life. Because they believe the bullshit. And my way of fighting back is by using my music and my platform as a weapon. I want to use this platform as a weapon for good. I want to use this platform as a way to fight back against this evil. I want to help as many people as I possibly can. Which is why I am dedicating this show this morning to every single person out there that has unfortunately taken their own life due to people like who I deal with. Because no one deserves that. No one deserves to be attacked, maimed, or destroyed, or to have their lives ripped away from them. Which is why we are going to start it off like this. Now, I did sit down for this because I want to have a little talk with you guys. First off, I want to say welcome to everybody that's showing up in the chat right now, man. You guys are fucking awesome. I fucking love you guys. Hang on, let me, let me fix this. There we go. Well, it's getting there. Now, I want to expand on what I was talking about earlier. When I spoke about being a victim, I want to expand on that a little bit. If you guys look my name up on Google, Underneath the name Chance Wilkins. That's W-I-L-K-I-N-S. You guys see a lot of bad stuff about me that some true and some is not true. Most of it's not true. But... I was a victim since 2017 of cyberbullying, extortion, blackmail, 
and you name it. The things I've been through, I would never wish on my worst enemy. The things I've been through, no one deserves to get put through. Nobody deserves to go through what I went through. Because even to this day, there are times where I struggle with depression, I struggle with PTSD, and it's not easy to deal with. It's really not. And my way of coping is through my music and through my artwork. That is how I cope. That is how I tell my story. Because every song I do a cover of plays a very significant part in my life along my journey. And it's not been easy. It's been one of the hardest things I've had to deal with ever. It really is. There are times where I go to bed tonight bawling my eyes out as a grown man. I bawl my eyes out at night a lot of the times wondering when all this is going to stop. And for those of you that don't know how old I am, I'm currently 33 years old. About to be 34 this year. I know, I'm old as shit. But. The way that it's hard for me. And the way that this internet trolls have affected my real life is they've made it hard for me to get a regular job by spreading rumors and lies about me. Every time I try to release any kind of music, they steal it. Anytime I try to make an honest living for myself, they strip me of it because they don't think that I'm deserving of having a regular life. I left YouTube because YouTube allows these people to run free. YouTube allows these people to commit horrid acts against me and many others. So as of yesterday, I officially retired as a YouTube content creator because I do not want negativity, I want positivity. I want good people in my community and you all right now that are in the chat, you guys are wonderful, wonderful, amazing people. And like I said at the beginning of the stream, man, I want to use my platform to make a change. I want to do whatever I can to make a change all across the internet for people like myself. Starting with YouTube, I want to use my reach as a famous YouTuber. I want to use my platform on here to reach out and help other people that are going through or have gone through what I've gone through because no one deserves that. No one deserves to be attacked. No one deserves to be bullied. And like I said, I want to use my platform for good. I want to make a change. And I want to use my artwork 
and my music and my platform as my weapons. A weapon to make a change for the better. Because no one deserves to go through what I went through. And for all the old school fans that have showed up over the last few days, I want you guys to know. I want you guys to know, sorry. But I want all my old school fans to know this. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys have been there for me since before I was even a major YouTuber. You guys were there for me in my early days, man. Back when I was 18, 19 years old. Just a scrawny little fucking kid doing his thing on Facebook. And then I moved over to here on my phone. And then from here, I moved over to YouTube. And then from YouTube, I bounced around between Twitch, YouTube, and Kick for many years. And now, I'm back here at the very beginning, man. And honestly, it feels good to be back here. It really does. It feels good to be here among friends, among family, among people that actually care about me. And I just want to take the time to say thank you, man. I want to thank every single one of you guys because you guys are awesome. But uh, with that being said, y'all, I'm not in here, guys. I got stuff I got to take care of. I love you guys. I'm not here, y'all. Peace.